Glad to have you with us in the studio. I'm Reese Davis, bringing you the EA Sports NCAA Football 14 pregame show presented by Nissan. Innovation that excites. The Longhorns have shown few signs of weakness lately. They are exuding confidence in everything they do. Bring together a few W's, that's exactly what happens. We'll see if they can keep it up. That's going to do it for us here on the pregame show. NCAA Football 14 action coming at you right now. Fred Nessler and Kirk Herbstreit. and Darrell K. Royal Stadium, the site of today's battle. And now let's head down to the coin toss. It's brought to you by Coke Zero. Real Coca-Cola taste and zero calories. Enjoy everything. Texas State is lined up to kick the ball off first, and we are ready to go. From the eight-yard line. And they push him out at the 38. Kirk, one of the top backs in the country we get a chance to see today. Butler's big play of building makes him a threat to score really anytime he touches. I love this guy. And let's not forget about his big offensive line. This is a group that really prides themselves in opening up some huge holes for him. It's also going to be difficult to stop him and keep him out of the end zone because you think about it, he's known for his big plays, the home run ability. So if you can limit those big plays, you got a shot at least at slowing him down. And he gets the ball 25, 30 times a game, and he'll probably get that again today. From their own 33-yard line, it's second down, five wide. Steps out of bounds around the 37-yard line. Hamilton gains about four yards there. So an empty backfield with five wide receivers. back to the tailback but he can't bring it in they're going to be forced to punt it away here yeah they just couldn't connect on the pass there that was a very good stand by this defense Barrett awaiting the return Barrett takes it at the 32 tackle made at the 42 yard line So here comes the offense taking the field for the first time today. Nice run up the middle. That makes it second and two. Makes the catch and look out. Quick throw. They'll bring him down around the 42-yard line. He is such a reliable target. You throw it anywhere near him, and this guy's going to get his hands on it and make a catch. He's at the 30. Tackle made around the 25-yard line. You like to see a team having success like this running the football. It can really open up things for the offense. And he's tackled at the 22-yard line. Strike to his receiver, no good. Well, he tried to thread the needle with that pass. Well, here the quarterback makes a poor decision, throwing into coverage. Needs to look at his progression and find the second and third receiver. 
Third and eight. Ball of the 22. Quick throw, incomplete. One of his receiver. Quickly to the tight end, incomplete. They don't pick up the first down, and the ball will change hands. And so far, it's been totally even. In close games like this, every possession is likely to matter. Makes it out to about the 33. It's first and 10. Ball on their own 33. He might not be able to get the pass off. Guns it across the middle. And they couldn't hook up on that one. Lacey says the intended receiver on the play. That makes it second and 10. After a decent run up the gut. That's a game of five on the way. That'll make it 35. From their own 38 yard line. Third down. He's tackled around the 50. the 35. They've obviously found a formula for moving the ball against this defense. Let's see if any adjustments are made before their backs are really against the wall. From the 35-yard line, first down. Brought down to 39-yard line. That's a loss of four yards on the play. That makes it second and 14. And down he goes at the 27. Slings it. That's good for the game. 12 yards. That'll bring up third and two. Here's the eighth play of the series. Taken down at about the nine yard line. First down, and they've got their eyes on that goal line. Play number 10 on the drive. He's on the run, and they got him. And for Cobb, he gets to the quarterback again. That makes his third and goal. It's third down. They need eight yards here to get the ball in the end zone. Mike 40, Mike 40, check, check. He's coming, he's coming. He's got it, touchdown. And 
he hits the PAT. Time for an update from the studio. Reese, what have you got? The Sooners come into this one ranked number five. And for Oklahoma, they're playing great football right now. And for Cox, 100 yards through the air. All right, thanks a lot, Reese. Texas is ready to kick it away. And he makes it out to about the 27-yard line. The Longhorns really took care of business on defense that first time out, Herbert. One of the great traditions of college football is this defense and the way they play with such passion and enthusiasm in this environment. We're seeing that again today. And while they are behind, they know they can knock things up in a heartbeat. It's way too early to change your game plan. The defense was able to get really good penetration and drop him short of the line of scrimmage. We've played one quarter. Texas leads 7 0. And we're ready for more football here in quarter number two. down after a nice run up the middle. Catches it, and he's looking for more. And they make the stop at the 35. These three and outs are, quite simply, momentum killers. They're stacking the line. It looks like they're coming after this punt. He gets out to about the 45-yard line. Momentum swings have been fairly even. And with so little separation, this game can be drastically changed on just one or two plays. Texas is up a score. Halfback's got it on the quick throw. They'll drop him for a loss. Drop back four yards on that one. Well, that's just a sound play by the defense. They dropped him well short of the line of scrimmage. Second and 13 coming up here. Ball on the 41-yard line. Now he tries to buy some time. Tackle right around midfield. He's brought down in the open field. Great effort here by the wideout to secure the ball and pick up some extra yardage. From the 41 yard line. First down. Quick pass. This receiving core runs some great routes, and that last play was an example of that. As a defender, it can be tough to match up sometimes. First and ten, ball on the 24. Throws complete, he's got room to work. They'll bring him down at the 15-yard line. Texas, up seven points. He gets out to about the 15 yard line. No gain on the play. That'll make it 31. 
It's third down, and this offense is about three feet away from that first down marker. That's a great tackle at the 12. So the ground game picks up another first down. Boy, this really works on a defensive psyche. You can see the guys on defense right now just trying to catch their win. Once again, they had a chance to bring this drive to a halt, but were unable to do it. The offense really seems to be clicking right now. Tackle made right around the four-yard line. Price gains eight yards on that play. The Longhorns will use their first time out of the half. They need about three yards to get the first here on second down. They'll line up with five wide receivers. And he's tackled around the four-yard line. No gain on the play. That makes it 33. This is the tenth play of this drive. He's scrambling. Decides to take it himself, and he's got it. Touchdown. Nice job by the offense to get the final few yards to the end zone. Yeah, they knew what play to call for in that situation and made it work. And he adds the extra point. So a 10-play, 55-yard drive, and a touchdown as a result. Fred, I thought the offense did a really nice job of mixing up the play calling on that drive. I thought the defense was on its heels most of the drive because of the versatility of the offense. They line up to kick this one away. He's to the 20. Whoa, he just took a lick it. You think about the challenges these two teams are facing. On one side, you've got to find a way to keep building on your lead. And on the other side, you've got to find a way to get back in it. Throws it in a hurry. He's tackled at about the 39-yard line. He ran a good-looking route and picked up positive yardage. That he did, and he made a good catch. That short passing game is where you see all those hours in the summer that you put in pay off. Second down, and they're going to need about three yards to pick up the first down. Fires quickly, and he's got his man. He's taken down at about the 47-yard line. That makes it first and ten. it out to his receiver in a hurry. Brought down at the 47-yard line. The Bobcats use their second timeout. A gain of six. You get six yards, and that makes picking up a first down very reasonable. So it's second down now, and they need about four yards to pick up the first. Throws quick to the receiver, and it falls incomplete. Third down. And he's immediately tackled. Besides going deep on the fade, the slant route is probably the most commonly run route against man coverage. If the receiver gets a good inside release, it'll be a new set of downs every time. Slings it. And down he goes around the 12 yard line. Big game there for the first down. There was some miscommunication down there by the defense that allowed for that big game. Offense falls on it. Tackled for a loss. It's a good job of securing the fumble and avoiding a turnover. Check, check. Dancer, dancer. Jim, Jim. Go. Go. Passes to his tailback again. What a play to set him up with a first and goal. That's a gain of 12 on the play. Kill, kill, kill. kill. First and goal. Three. Switch, switch, switch. Green nine, green nine. Easy, easy. Scrambling around, and he's taken down at the one. Texas State will use their final timeout. So with a half ending, they're just going to try to put three points up on the board.
Kicks up, and it's through the uprights. I have a feeling this ball is going nowhere near the return man with this kickoff, most likely to end the half. Miller fields it at the 11. He makes it out to maybe the 30-yard line. It's been a well-fought game as we head to the half. 14-3, Longhorns. We've played 30 minutes. Glad to have you with us on the EA Sports NCAA Football 14 Halftime Show presented by Nissan. Innovation that excites. David Pollock and I here in the studio to break down everything that just happened in your game. Maybe the most important statistic from the first half, no turnovers for either team. So far, a good job of ball security, but now you wonder if the quarterbacks can avoid putting the ball in jeopardy. They're going to want to make a big play, and that might sort of set off a feeding frenzy on the defensive side. Yeah, and it's in, in defenses, that's the number one priority. I mean, you can give up a lot of yards. You could, they can chew up yards up and down the field, but if you can force turnovers, then you're keeping them off the scoreboard, and, and that's your number one goal. So I, defenses, they, they have to be a little bit upset right now, and they got to try to find ways to, to hit harder. How about when you're tackling? Use the strip stick. You know, be able to strip the ball out, get the ball out, try to get some interceptions, try to make some user picks, you know, do whatever you can to try to get the football back from that offense and set your offense up in good field position. David and I will be keeping an eye on your game and everything else going on in the country here in our palatial and comfortable surroundings in the studio. The best seat in the house belongs to Brad Nessler in Kirk Herb Street. All right, Reese, David, thanks, guys. Just about set to start the third quarter. He'll return it from the four-yard line. He's tackled at the 27-yard line. There's got to be some sense of urgency to this offense right now. They don't have the luxury of wasting drives if they want to get back in the game. After a decent pickup. That's a game of six on the play. That'll make it second and four. Larry, Larry, Larry! Mike three! Mike three! Hey, watch the screen! Watch the screen! He gets out to about the 35-yard line. First and ten. ten. Check 13. Check 13. You better be afraid of me. You better kill, be kill, kill. Three. To the right and tackled immediately. No game. That makes it second and ten. Larry, Larry. He's out. Mike three. Mike three. Fumble, fumble, fumble. He's gobbled up in the backfield. This guy's just an amazing playmaker. I'm sure we'll see him compete on Sunday afternoons. And they'll look to convert here on another third down. He sails it long. Can't pull it in. So they couldn't pick up the long yardage, and now they'll have to punt. On third down, the defense was expecting the pass, and they defended the play very well in the secondary. Henderson is the punter. He makes it out to maybe the 36-yard line. Both sides have made their way back out, and we're just about set to get going again. Five guys will be out in the pattern as they're in the shotgun. Pulls down the catch, and he's got room here. And they push him out around the 46-yard line. From 
the 46 yard line. It's first down. Throws to the receiver, incomplete. This quarterback needs to give his playmakers a chance to make plays. He's got to be sure he gets the ball in their hands. They come out on an empty backfield. They'll bring him down for a loss on the play. Call it a loss of two yards on the play. That brings up third and 12. Third down now, and they need to get it down to the 36. yard line first down Butler gets another handoff tackled after a decent run up the gut And they make the stop at the 12-yard line. That makes it first and 10. From the 12-yard line. First down. He gets out to about the 9-yard line. That's good for a game of 3 yards. That'll make it second and 7. And this is the eighth play of the drive. Gives it to the back. Gets to about the eight yard line. That'll bring up third and six. And so it's another third down upcoming here. Play number 10 on the drive. Touchdown, Longhorns. He splits the uprights with the extra point. Let's check in with Reese Davis in the studio. We are locked in on what's going on in Norman. Let's take a look at this one again. And for Oklahoma, we've got a little drama starting to unfold right now. A potential major upset in the making. And for Cox, he's tossed a couple of touchdown passes. The Miners are on top, 14-7. Getting late in the third quarter. Thanks, Reese. 21-3, our score here. Atkins has the ball all teed up, and he's ready to kick this one off. Collier fields it at the one. Fumble, loose ball. It's recovered, and they finally make the stop at the 32. When you're a quarterback and you start this close to the end zone, your eyes just light up when you take the field. Conversely, the defense is thinking, uh-oh, we can't let him get another one so quickly. Throws complete, and he's got space to work. They'll bring him down at the 24-yard line. It's second down, and they're about two yards away from the sticks. There are five wide receivers split out. The quarterback in the gun. 
tailback brought down for a loss. Loss of two yards on the play. That'll bring up third and four. Maybe it's time to get the backup some experience as we head to the fourth quarter. 21-3, Longhorn. Welcome back to the action here as we resume play here in quarter number four. Makes it to the 14. First and 10. Ball on the 14. He's on the run. Out of bounds. Round the six yard line. That makes it second and two. time finds his receiver touchdown Makes the PAT. Texas lines up for the kickoff. He really got a hold of that kick. Tackle made at the 18. The Longhorns have a defense that's a sight to behold, Kirk. Well, they just play with a chip on their shoulder. They are all over the field. The defensive line knows their job. The linebackers, the safeties, the corners. Everybody plays as one, and they've been fun to watch today. Both teams are playing out the stretch here. You want to get experience for guys who normally don't get in the game and try to avoid injuries. He goes downtown. Incomplete. Nobody was going to catch up to that one. This guy needs to just calm down. He fired that one about as far as he could throw it. It's second and ten. Ball on their own 18. Makes it out to about the 30. That's good for a game of 12 yards. First down. Quick out to his receiver. Tackle made around the 47-yard line. That makes it first and 10. Zero, zero, nice play across the middle. Excellent open field tackle. There's very good chemistry between these two. They like to run through all their routes before the game. And I have to say, they look sharp before this one even started. Caught over the middle. And he's tackled at the 32-yard line. Kaplan on the tackle at the 32-yard line. That'll make it second and four. Pulls it in, and he's in the open field. He's tackled at the 28-yard line. Summers brings him down at the 28-yard line. That'll make it third and one. I got you, son. I got you, son. Zero, zero, Mike Green. Hey, kill, kill, kill. He makes it to the 25-yard line. Gaining three yards. First down. 
And this play is number eight on the drive. Quick throw out to the receiver, incomplete. Sometimes when you throw it that hard, you can't control the accuracy all that well. He'll get it under control, though, in time. From the 25-yard line, second down. Less than three minutes in the game. Looks for the tight end, but they can't hook up. This is the 10th play of this drive. throw out to the receiver. He's taken down right around the 12 yard line. That makes it first and 10. Larry, Larry, Larry. Mike three, Mike three. Fumble, fumble, fumble. Go easy, forward. easy. Yeah. Throws it and it's caught for the touchdown. And a nice catch by the receiver for the touchdown. Anytime you're near the red zone, you got to keep an eye for this guy. They love going to him down here. It was a textbook close route, and the pass was right on target. And he adds the extra point. An 11-play, 82-yard drive, and it results in a touchdown. This quarterback has really demonstrated a tremendous amount of ability and leadership today. I'd be very surprised if he didn't continue to play well. The score now, 28-10. They'll bring him down at the 41. I think any good football team has to have an ability to answer, and that's exactly what we just saw. One team scores a touchdown, the other team comes right back and puts another touchdown on the board. This is getting exciting. Both teams are well aware that a score on this drive is going to create an almost insurmountable lead. This defense has really got to step it up and make a stop. And down he goes at about the 39-yard line. That makes it second and eight. From the 39-yard line, it's second down. Just over two minutes in the game. Give to the running back, and he's going to lose yardage. No game on the play. That'll bring up third and eight. Again, he'll get the call. And he's taken down around the 38-yard line. That brings us fourth and seven. Fourth down, and the offense is still on the field. Here we go. 59 Philly. 59 Philly. down 10 yards to go ball on the 25 yard line he gets out to about the 17 yard line that makes it second and two Get the victory. 28-10. That does it for this edition of NCAA Football 14. For Kirk Herbstreit, I'm Brad Nessler saying so long.